the discount tyres handicap hurdle is next and this is a three mile 0 to 130 and the top one is shaft guard thirsty for david robertson honey honey for graham clutterbuck west by rush martin Lidham, bailey plume james shea olas tin or darren thompson the white witch joshua sutherland flaky duffcott graham clutterbuck florence kevin Meenahan, rocky tattle david robertson darrow darren thompson mazzaro tears hymns monte casino paul fisk opera house kevin Meenahan, ring of esteem thomas rogers goodbye millie vinnie gerard legalize and crusader king for paul o'neill not twice for vinnie gerard cornus vale derrick hinton elena treat alex cherry jeffonian ryan costello and oriental investment thomas rogers they are all called in and away they go you can hear me above the din of the grass mowing that's going on outside and honey honey is the leader from alina treat as they get to the first of the 13 and they're all over that one safely second race of the day the second hurdle of the day and see fall is in the first i think quite a few clear rounds in the hurdle races so far this season and honey honey is in the lead by about four to legalize in the second just about second there's a line of about eight of them oh, currently disputing second and honey honey in the lead by a good five lengths and all as tin has moved through in a second now ahead of the grey the white witch Legalised West Wild Rush in the purple jacket close up as well. Then Jafonian. Well, Ryan Costello got his first winner in the league yesterday. Well done to him. And a flat as they skip over that one. The back marker is Monte Casino. Good if everybody manages to get one before the end of the season. And Honey Honey is in the lead. Skip over flight three. Honey Honey leads by a good five through the White Witch in second. And Bailey Plume on the outside is third. The red and green of Legalise is next. And Olas Tin with the white sleeves is just obscuring West Wire Rush as they take the fourth. And the white jacketed Jafonian with official investment on the inside. Whatever right on the far side of Lena Treat. Rocky Tattle is in between them. So it is Opera House. And they take the fifth. And all over that one and pass in the stand. And it's Honey Honey in the lead. Big impressive looking stand that look, isn't it? I presume it's a stand. Or VIP boxes anyway. But, uh, honey Honey in front. Bailey Plume second. The White Witch third. We have that little road and then legalised four and West Wild Rush five. Well, that's ten is six and Opera House is seven. Rocky Tattle is eight and Jafonian is nine and then Shaft Khan first in Oriental Investment and Goodbye Million. Flaky Duff Cotton Crusader King. Cornus Vale, Monte Casino, Alina Treat and Darrow. And then Ring of Esteem, Mazzaro, Tears, Florence and finally Knock Twice at the back. Oh. Racing then past the midway point in this race. And Honey Honey is in the lead. The White Witch and Bailey Plume together. Legalised third. West Wild Rush being pushed into fourth. Then Olas Tin and Opera House as they take the sixth. All safely over that one as well with Honey Honey continuing to show the way. Yet to be challenged. Skips over that little hurdle. Which they all do. Plenty of air. And the order the top end is pretty much as it's been throughout with honey honey in the lead skipping over number eight then now that they all go with the white witch still second legalized on the outside is third between the two bailey plume and on as tin jockey looks to be holding that one up at the moment he's got to need a little bit of a split west while rush is holding him in in opera house and on the back of that one is rocky chattel as they take the ninth and there's a faller there, somebody's gone, goodbye Millie's gone, so goodbye Millie, it's goodbye to Millie there, and Honey Honey is in the lead. Really tightly packed in the chasing pack, they've not got close to this Honey Honey yet. And we're well inside the final seven furlongs and Honey Honey is in the lead. 
with Westmire Rush now being pushed into second and legalising the White Witch and all that's tin Bailey Plume Jafonian still there as well or perhaps being scrubbed along then Rocky Tackle and Oriental Investment and then Shaft Garn Thirsty not twice he's tried to join that leading group as well and a gap to the Grove Florence and Flaky Duff Cotton Crusader King but it's still Honey Honey in front Honey Honey from Westmire Rush is now a clear second legalising all that's tin then the White Witch is trying to get back into it again and Jafonian still there so is Bailey Plume Oriental Investment on the inside still plenty of chances if they can get to this leader over the tenth he goes and it's honey honey in the lead with three more flights to take then honey honey three clear of the white witch who's now gone second west by rush comes under pressure legalize is still there they're not last ten oriental investment that's the third last good jump by the white witch seeing it get to within a length and a half off the leader but honey honey is still battling on in front legalize is back in third west by rush four and then opera house rocky tackle and knock twice as they take the second last and now the white witch comes to take it up it's the white witch who goes on from honey honey and legalize west by rush wide on the track is Opera House and Rocky Tattle it's surely between these they come down towards the final flight then and the White Witch and Legalise have now taken it on it's the White Witch on the near side Legalise on the far side over the final flight they go the White Witch and Legalise being chased still by Honey Honey and West by Rush but it's the White Witch on the near side and now Legalise begins to power ahead it's Legalise just getting up by ahead as they race up towards the line it's Legalise the White Witch and Legalise is going to take it the White Witch is second then Honey Honey and West by Rush Bizarro tears finish from nowhere so too did Monte Casino, Cornus Vale was last and Honey Honey led all the way but was overtaken in between the last two flights and the White Witch collared by Legalise, I think the weight may have played a bit of a difference there as you can see Legalise takes it for Paul O'Neill, good win of him, the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland was second, Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck was third, West Wire Rush for Martin Leader was fourth, and Monte Casino for Paul Fisk ran on to be fifth.